How you doing? Uh, now the console's arrived. Not sure. Um, I was a bit worried when it comes just in this. But I'm pleased to report it's all there. <coughs> Without further ado. An Am Commodore Amiga CD32 console. Um, there you go, you see the side of it there. World's first 32 bit CD games console. Uh, as you see, it's Dangerous Streets Special Edition. A lot of Amiga releases, console releases, computer releases rather, uh, come bundled with games like most systems do, just to like try and help sell it. This one had Dangerous Streets, Diggers, Oscar, and Wing Commander with it, so it's an okay compilation, but they're all like different sort of games at least. So this is just a sleeve that comes in, if I can get this off. The sleeve's seen a bit better days to be honest, but this game, uh, the console came out in 1993, so it's, uh, it's fairly old. Um, attempt to open this without dropping everything. Here we are. Right, that's all the manuals, it's all there. Uh, I said I said it was all there, so that's not there. There's some games I'll uh, get to in a minute. A CD32 controller. Quite quite unique, if you like. It's going to fetch a fair price as well. It's quite good, really, because I've got two of them. <coughs> uh, that connects the console to the TV. Always handy. Power unit. And I'm not sure what this one does. It might be uh, connect to a, an external drive or something. So you can actually play like floppy disk games on your CD32. I'm sure there's a, a way of doing it. That's me. Well, could be wrong. Um, under here. More games. Right, so we've got Theme Park, which uh, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Uh, might be more familiar with, come out on the Amiga or the PC, also come out on Theme Park World, the follow up, come out on the uh, PlayStation 1 and 2. That's all there. Fair old size menu, what that? Um, ooh, what else have we got? Got some cover discs from magazines which have game demos on it plus public domain games. Got the likes of Super Frog, Banshee, Cannon Fodder. Uh, oh, Skid Marks, Lotus Turbo Challenge. A couple of original games. Uh, one game I think it only came out for the uh, CD32. It was uh, sort of like a homage to Fantastic Voyage or Inner Space, you remember that film? I'm sure it's set inside something, it's like a 3D game, it's more, more a graphics show than a game to be honest, but that was a microcosm. Not too much in the way, graphics in the manual. This is the game itself, the disc. Yeah, all complete. I uh, look forward to playing that. Um, another original game for it. It's called Roadkill. This is uh, a top-down racer. Well, these was um, similar to like micro machines in some ways, but I think obviously, judging by the title, there's a quite a bit of violence in it. <clears throat> Bubble wrap to play with. Hey. Right. Diggs and Oscar. I don't know if there's supposed to be more to it than that. I'm not sure. Dangerous Streets and Wing Commander. They're the ones that are actually bundled with it, as I said. And I've got some instructions there, but not a great deal. <coughs> Game's massive. Uh, this is from Amiga Power 
magazine, which was my favourite Amiga magazine back in the day. It's got a ton of uh, PD games on there, plus demos of the likes of Banshee and Super Scoop, <laughs> Scoop Skid Marks. Super Duper, another original Amiga game, which got revamped for the CD32, and that was uh, Alfred Chicken, which is a platformer. I think I played a demo of this way back in the day. I'm not talking more about it, really. It's alright, I think. Anyway, the console itself. Snazzy. That's the back of it. As you can see, it's uh, it looks in good condition. I actually can't see a, a scratch on it. Very slight cleaning needs, but I'm pretty chuffed with that. I'm a big fan of the Amiga, so it was only a matter of time before I got one of these as well. <clears throat> I love the uh, the Amiga days. I mean. Uh, Favourite time in gaming, I think, probably. That and the Amstrad as well. Um, so there you go, guys. Let me know what you think. I'll uh, try and set this up. And uh, see what comes out. Well, right, guys, I've set the uh, CD32 up. You can see it. One controller. There's a controller ports. Uh, wires in the back. Set up to my uh, Samsung TV, so... chance to boot up. So it's about a year before the PlayStation this was. So, uh, grab a disc. I can. The Amiga Power demo disc I showed you. Kick in. Top 100 games according to Amiga Power, I assume this is. Loads of classics there Monkey Island, Sensible Soccer, Pinball, Speedball 2, Degeneration, Chaos Engine, no second prize. Oh, look, Rodland. Brilliant platform on that one. Oh, look. Banshee's one of them games I'm interested in getting. That's all it says about it. Apparently, it's got some playable demos on it. Oh, yeah. Right. holding the camera I'm not going to play this game <laughs> Well, there you go, you see it happening. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, see you soon.